gang, it's your little homie, Warren G-Body, and you know I'm up in the rock shop. My name will get down, wrenching while you sleeping, right after work, about one o'clock in the morning, man, and we are getting it cracking on the, uh, just some miscellaneous stuff, gang, that I was there, I might as well just jump in and get it cracking, so... This is just a quick intro of what this video is going to be about. Uh, I took the well, I took these into work last night and uh, got them sandblasted. And I didn't have enough time before work to get these off. I had to take the brake booster back out because the brake booster, this mounts up against the firewall. The brake booster uh, comes through that and then you tighten the nuts down on there. So I took the nuts off, put them back in because you do not want to just set those down anywhere because if you do you ain't gonna find them uh took the uh, brake assembly off this is the uh, bracket that hope for the uh, emergency brake and i'm gonna order a new one of these pieces right here this one should be okay but i think i'm just gonna go ahead and get a new one uh this is what actually tells the e-brake light to come on when you push it in it pushes this up grounds it and then you're good to go so and then i'm gonna work it we're gonna keep this area non-painted we're just gonna leave it raw metal uh because it needs to ground and then this in here will you know get it cracking and i'll have to get a new one of these little shoes on there so i have to figure out how to get that going but yeah so we'll take care of that and so this video is just going to be about me going to work and sandblasting real quick vid man and getting it cracking so we are back on it we are just give you guys something different man the, the wiring videos get long and boring but that's what we're doing all of this stuff that I do, gang, is really the behind-the-scenes stuff. It's nothing really exciting yet, you feel me, because I'm still restoring the car. You know what I mean? Some folks, this kind of stuff turns them on. It's not many that are into the cleanup part. You know, we want the big wheels. We want the big brakes. But before I can do all of that, this is the long, tedious journey that I have to do. I, I can't put a silk hat on a pig, man. I gotta, I gotta do it. So, just a quick little preview, man. We're uh, finishing up the wiring. On uh, I think part nine is gonna be me running the wires for that panel, and this Allen Tech is clean, man. Look how it just looks so clean, man. Just see a little bit of the red popping through. We're gonna heat shrink that down and get that all nice and clean. Make it try and look as professional as possible, cause we're not a pro, but some of the stuff I've seen the pros do, they ain't fucking with this. But, all right, gang, so just a quick little vid, man. Sandblasting, we're going to get these painted up and uh, get it cracking. All right, y'all, let's go. We went ahead and took out the brake pedal and the other pedal assembly. Uh, I completely forgot that this bracket is held in with the bolts for the... Uh, you know for the, the booster so uh, i'm just gonna tape this area off and spray some uh some black over that just to freshen it up you know i don't got time to take everything off i'm headed into work right now so i completely forgot about that i was like oh shit but no big deal this just has surface rust on it we'll scuff it up a little bit spray some black on it, it ain't an area that's gonna have a lot of traffic just want to clean up as much as i can you feel me if i'm in this area I might as well clean it up but you already know I'm gonna probably take it off and <laughs> to, to, to when I get home. Uh, this also I wanted to clean up. It's just surface rust, but it's got three bolts that hold this whole little assembly in. But I don't know if I want to mess with this because, uh, yeah, I'll probably just tape certain areas off and spray it because I think you don't want to cover need that metal because this grounds out or does something for the uh brake light uh to let you know that it's on the dash you know that you got your brake on so i won't mess with that but i'll clean it up this right here this arm see they left this bare but this arm is covered so i'll go ahead and uh do that but yeah i'll work all this with some uh wd-40 and everything this is how you get the the e-brake e off when you got the lever on there, just pull, pull that. You gotta be careful when you get this pushed in. Cause normally what'll happen is when you pull this, this thing will 
this thing will pop forward and catch your finger. So this, this whole assembly needs to be worked. But yeah, gang, so we got the parts off. Just finished watching Dash Garage, his video. His intro was sick as hell. He went from underneath the car and he came forward and then, you know, they show all the undercarriage and then he came up, boom, on that beautiful uh, Turbo LS. Yeah, that was a clean intro, bro. But yeah, gang, here we go. I don't know what Unc was doing. As I tear this Elko apart, I'm so glad we saved it, gang. I'm so glad we saved it because I'm like, Unc, how was this thing even running? That's why we had to save this old girl. She had a whole lot of life in her. Her life was pure hell, y'all. I'm telling you, as I started tearing this apart, I was like, no wonder this was like that. No wonder that was like this. You feel me? So that's one of the reasons why I completely tried to restore it to the best of my ability. You feel me? I, I'm no shop. I'm no pro. But these little hands, I can clean stuff up. My daddy military, he a Marine, so you, you gonna clean some stuff up. But yeah, gang, uh, I don't know what Unc was doing here. I, I, I don't know. He had duct tape around the emergency cable. Like I said, I'm all over the place with this video, gang. Matter of fact, I better jump in the shower and head into work. He had duct tape right here. Uh, right there, he had duct tape wrapped all around that, and I was trying to understand <laughs> i don't know man but yeah gang we we still we, we we still grinding like i said i'm all over the place with this video uh we're gonna finish this up this came out pretty clean now yeah this came out really clean i'm really happy with the way this came out so we're gonna finish that up today uh after work i get off at one so i'll probably be out here from like one till seven messing with stuff that Allen Tech. That Allen Tech looks clean, man. I really dig the way that is. So I'm about to buy a whole bunch more of that for my project. This stuff worked out really good for the other cable. Uh, when this was actually, when this motor was actually in that. Yeah, so I'm going to remove this. Uh, I'll use this in areas where you really can't see. But out in the open where you can see, I want to use the Allen Tech. But yeah, gang, so we're going to get this to work. I'll probably fade this in at work when I'm going to sandblast it. And get it sandblasted, get some primer on it, get it painted up, and uh, and go from there. All right, y'all, fading it on now. All right, gang, I'm up at the workhouse. I brought a few of these pieces in. We're going to sandblast them. I'm hoping the sandblaster works. I still got to pull. I got to take the brake booster back off. I completely forgot the bracket that... Uh, it holds the pedal assembly. I think it's the brake pedal assembly. Yeah, that uh, this piece goes up inside that bracket. Well, the bracket is held on by the bolts that hold the brake booster. So I got to take that back off and I'll bring it back up here tomorrow. Sandblast it. I'm in the area, man. I might as well go ahead and knock it all out. So I'm just gonna sandblast it and then just primer it and put some roll bar and chassis paint. If it was a high, you know, traffic area, then I would go ahead and uh, powder coated but this will work fine for what it is that i need to do i had to do some some scraping and crap in here the unk had some kind of duct tape on there uh of course we're gonna get the new little nicer pedals and all that but just to get a you know i'm here might as well go ahead and clean it up so i'll get these done today and then tomorrow i didn't have enough time to take everything apart i'll bring the other one up here tomorrow as long as the sand blast was working i could just primer it and paint over it but i'm a uh, I got the option to do it, so might as well. Remember, I like to restore stuff before I can build it. All right, y'all, fading it out. All right, gang, the sandblaster is working amazing, so we'll be able to get this all cleaned up. And now I know I can bring that other part up here, so we're going to get after it, get this all done. So that's, you know, before and after. This is what I used to do back in 2009, 2010, when I was heavy on the LS uh, rear brake swaps and front brake swap. I would uh, bring them to work, tape everything all up, sandblast it up real pretty like. Maybe I'll put a little picture up in the corner of how I used to do it. But yeah, sandblaster's working good. It's leaking like crazy though. But yeah, gang, so we're going to get after it. Get this all cleaned up, get it primered up and painted up. All right, y'all. All right, there we go. Nice clean metal and plastic to uh, paint over. 
Ain't gotta be perfect, but this is way better than what it was. I gotta get me a sound blaster going on at home, gang. This uh, really just, it adheres real nice because it leaves the perfect finish on there. So there it is. We'll get back to the crib, get them painted up, finish up underneath. With all this stuff out of the way, I can now, uh, the wiring is way easier. You know what I mean? But yeah, gang, all right, we're gonna get back to the shop and get after it, yes, sir. And we right back up in the rock shop, gang. All right. Everything's looking lovely. What I was saying earlier, gang, is see the brake booster is all done. I made my little gasket for back there, the whole nine. But you see this bracket right here? That's the brake booster is holding it in. The screws come through, so yeah. So I gotta I completely forgot about that. So what I'm gonna do, man, I'm gonna go ahead and um, take it out. I'm gonna take it out, gang, and get it all sandblasted at work. I'll take this piece, and I could go back up there now, but it's after hours, so uh, <clears throat> I'll just do it tomorrow. So what I'm gonna do now, gang, is I'm gonna pull this off, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off as well. Th this is how the projects grow, man, because if you're right here you might as well do it you feel me so we'll be getting back on this wiring gang uh yeah we'll be getting back on this i might pull these back through and i might go about it a little differently so i'm liking the way the uh i'm really digging the way the uh what's that the uh, allen tech looks but We'll see. This, the only thing I didn't like about this is that everything comes out the, bo out the bottom. So, uh, uh, it's all good. It's all good. But, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and take this all out, gang. And I'm going to take it in and sandblast everything. Might as well clean it all up. And then we'll get all this done and uh, kill Matt. We'll just do it all, gang. So, that's what I'm going to do right now is get this bracket off. This has three. little one. One right there. Hell, it might just be the one. No, it's got to be more than one. I forgot. It's been so long, man. But I'm going to figure this out and get this taken off. And uh, move on for there. Oh, shit. Maybe you can get that. You know, with this, with this project, man, I'll be finding all kinds of stuff. Like, Unc, how did you do this? <laughs> how was this car even driving? But yeah, so I'm gonna get after it, get both these brackets out, gang, and uh, get it ready for all sandblasting. All right, y'all, fading it out. All right, gang, we fading it back on in. All right, so we got that uh, emergency brake deal off. There's three bolts that hold it. Yikes, I forgot what size this is, but you got one bolt up here, a screw. You got one right here, and then you got one way back there right there right and you might excuse me you might have to move the e-brake back and forth so you can access the actual bolt or screw head and uh something else that you want to take into consideration is when you go to pull it off this cable right here is going to be attached to it because that's the emergency cable you see this end right here see that end see that end right there that's a bitch to get off. But if you know the trick, it's nothing. There's two ways you can do this. You get a 13 millimeter socket and you slide over the top of this. And what that does is that pushes in those tangs and then you can pop, pop it right on out. Or you can use some uh, hose clamps, get you a small hose clamp, wrap it around there, tighten it down and you go and it'll pop right on out. But the 13 millimeter deep socket, that works. So deep socket meaning like this you just basically take the socket slide it over you know this end this end right here you would slide it over that piece and then it's going to push all those tangs up inside and then you can pull it out quick and easy way to get it cracking gang uh i have to order another grommet for here i completely forgot about that now, those grommets are 22 bucks man for that little grommet that goes right there. 
crazy but yeah uh but it's got to be done so but yeah gang so what i'm doing now is i am removing i'm going on ahead and uh removing everything now gang when you remove any part take the nut screw bolt whatever it is and put it back through the hole see how i got these in here i removed it i put them back i removed it i put them back you see what i mean don't don't defeat that don't don't not do it <laughs> excuse my english don't don't not do it <laughs> this is what happens oh i'll be right back you're not going to come right back. You're going to go in the house. You're going to start playing video games. You're going to start searching the, the internet. You're going to start spending time with the old lady, whatever. And you're not going to come back right away. And just like those 10 millimeters that come up missing, anything that's got a 10 mm on it come up missing, those nuts will come up missing. Those bolts come up missing. So once you get every, the part out, go ahead and screw them bitches back on there, gang. Don't do it trust me so we're gonna go ahead and get after it we got the uh, e-brake off let me go show you these cars are so basic it's just crazy but it worked <laughs> so basic of a design gang so i'm not gonna paint any of this i'm just gonna get it back to clean white metal like that I'm not going to clear over it, nothing, because it needs to ground itself. You feel me? You don't want nothing in the way. So I'm going to clean all this up. I'm going to clean everything up. This area we will paint. I got to figure out how to get this old dinosaur off of here. It's stuck on there. And then uh, that's where these come in handy. Let's see. What did I do with it? That's where these guys come in big handy. These right here, these are wood chip. I get it from Harbor Freight. They are sharp as hell right here on the edge. So if I got to clean something up, I mean, this just digs into it real nice. It peels off like a banana. So that'll get that off, no problem. And we'll sandblast this up, exercise the hell out of it. You feel me? All of these, all the moving parts, we'll exercise all the moving parts. We'll sandblast all of this, get this off, paint all of this up, get a new uh, shoe for it or whatever that's called and uh reinstall it and this is where this is the uh, sensor that plugs on for your ground when you push it in i guess it hits this a certain way and then it, it gives contact to complete the circuit to tell the light to turn on and that's it real simple design but it worked uh-huh so we're going to oh, sorry again i'm gonna go ahead push forward and uh get these other two nuts off and then we got one up here that's probably a 15 also man eh, maybe not uh get that going up there you know what i'm gonna do man one day i'm gonna go through and i'm just gonna notate what each screw is let's say if i'm taking this all apart and i'm bagging everything up that's when i'll do it i'll bag it up i'll say what the part is what the nut is what the bolt is and I'll put down what size wrench it is. That is a pain in the ass, man. If you up underneath the car in a weird position, and oh shit, wrong size. Then you gotta get out of your weird position that took you a while to get in to get the part in, get back up to grab a wrench, only for it to be the wrong wrench again. So usually when I'm tagging and bagging, I'm also writing down the size of tool I need to get the part back on. You feel me? Install it again. So we'll finish getting these off. Get that nut off right right there. And this whole bracket will just pop off. I'll put the nuts back on here to hold the uh, brake booster in place until we get it all sandblasted and paint it back up. Alright gang, let me get after it. Alright gang, we got it out. Man, I want to head up there and sandblast this so bad. Then I can get up and paint it, but it's all good. It's after hours. So I will get this tomorrow and uh, we'll pick up. I'll head up to AutoZone, get some primer, get some uh, roll bar and chassis paint. This is the same as this finish. That'll be a nice finish for it. And you can see my little gasket I made back there, right here, real clean. Um, yeah, so everything's up out the way. And here we have it, gang. So I'm going to start pulling some of this old 
crap off of here. I got an actual tool that pops these off, so I'm gonna go look for it. See if I can find that, pop it off. Get all this in here clean. You know, all this old junk in here. Can't see like this. All of this crap. Get rid of it. So I might be able to pull it out. You want to be careful when you're pulling this stuff off because it's a tight area. You pull, it'll pop. Pow. Get hurt. And we ain't trying to get hurt, man. We need them hands to get this work done. All right, gang. So I'm going to uh, press forward. Remember, if you remove something, see how I put all my screws back? I put them all back. These are actually boxed up. You gotta find the box with all of them in there, but that's it, man. Definitely wanna put those back up in there. But all right, gang, so I'm going to uh, press forward with this clean up, getting rid of all of this kind of stuff. You know, when you get in them old schools and they smell old, that's why. So you got all of this old ass shit in here. You know, this isn't too bad. Uh, but I'm still gonna probably remove it at least from here over because it's been out in the open. So, yeah, might as well just get rid of this shit. This still looks pretty good. I'm going to leave this alone. I'll probably just put some uh, sound damp up in here. You feel me? Paint this up black in here. Everything gets touched, gang. Everything gets touched. <laughs> the project just grows. When uh, the car is this bad, this, this was the worst G-Body I've ever worked on. I've ever worked on. I've worked on quite a few of them, man. But this one here tested everything that I know to do. You feel me? And it's turning out pretty good, gang. But all right, I'm going to go get my tool to pull these off. And then I uh, see, start looking into these wires. Uh, still got to press forward with part nine of the rewire. But we are looking good. Let me give you a little preview of what that looks like. Want to, want to do something different, man. I've been boring y'all with those uh, uploads. So this is where we are. It's looking good. That, uh, looking real good. Where'd it go? Here it is, that Allen Tech. Allen Tech is clean, man. I love the way that looks. You see, I got it loomed up. And I'm gonna grime it, you know. Put this little over there. This little bit right here. Make it that, make it, give it that real clean, uh, professional finish. And that's it, gang. This is going to work out cool. I'm actually going to put one of these on all my projects. I can make that for way cheaper than what it is. 175 amp fuse, a &L style. Because I think that whole set is 40 bucks for the for the little kit. But yeah, gang. All right, I'm going to uh, set it on down, do a little bit more cleanup, and I'll bring you guys back on after that's been sandblasted and, and primer. And then we'll get it painted. All right, y'all. We're going to fade it on now. All right, gang. We back at the workhouse. You know what time it is, man. We're going to grab these. Get these guys over in their sandblasting cabinet, gang. And uh, get them cleaned up. All right, y'all. Let's go. All right, gang. And there it is. Now I can go on ahead and spray these up. Primer them. Paint them. Uh... I'm not gonna sweat that. Yeah, this thing is pretty bad. I'm pretty sure they sell these new. I am going to replace that part. I don't think that has any kind of electrical situation. I just think it's a ground, you feel me? So I do see that they sell them new. But yeah, I also need to get this out of here. I got to pop that off. My lunch is all, oh yeah, yeah, I can just pop that off. It slides on in. Yeah, so looking good. Uh, we can get to the crib, clean it up, primer it. And uh, this I'm not gonna mess with. Uh, I'm gonna keep this bare metal. I'm just gonna blow it all out with some compressed air and then uh, coil it up in the areas they gotta move, exercise it so that it pops back, you know, properly. But uh, all of this area in here, we will leave bare because it needs to ground. But there it is, gang, so. Looks pretty good. Best I could get it. You know, it's better than where we started, right? <laughs> we're not professionals. We're just trying to do a little cleanup. All right, y'all. We're going to get back to the crib and uh, get it primered up, painted up. And I'm going to see if I can order some nice little, uh, you know, little deals right there for it. All right, y'all. Let's go. And 
just like that gang, we back up in the rock shop. All right, y'all, let's get it. We clocked out and clocked right back in. We about to put in six hours up in the shop. Get it, get it cracking. Get these goodies out the bag, man, and uh, and see what it's doing. All right, y'all, let's go. All right, gang, so we looking good. Everything is cleaned up nice. You see, these came out <clears throat> a lot better because I did some. I cleaned up the. Uh, see how much brighter those look. Yeah, I end, what I ended up doing is I cleaned out a couple of things and got the sand to moving a lot better. But it's still good to go. We're gonna get the old primer out. Get my Krylon hand back on. You feel me? And uh, you know what? I got a special uh, treat for this video. Uh, something I picked up for the uh, Heart and Soul Elko, the Blue Beast. Yeah, I'm going to uh, go get it right now and bring it on out. All right, y'all, fading it out. Red, you that beat going crazy. gang you see what it is we got them hookers up in the rock shop yes sir i'm about to get in trouble with these hookers up in here yeah let me give you guys a quick little spot shot of them see what we working with i gotta uh do a whole nother video on these but there it is gang you see what it is yes sir all right gang and just that quick <laughs> it's all messed up again all right gang i'm gonna end the video here i decided to go on here man I was gonna paint them up, but uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and send them out the powder coat, let them tackle it. And uh, this one I might paint and put back in. This one I might paint and put back in. And I'm just gonna have it all powder coated, just black, just to get it done. I, I thought I had some more uh, Port 15, otherwise I would've did that. That would've been perfect, but I'm out of it. So, we will end the video here, gang. We're going to get it up to uh, my man having powder coated and uh, go from there. Something else I could possibly do is paint them. Paint them up. Uh, I don't got the piece in here. It's the uh, purple. There's some other stuff I got going on. I got some billet. Uh brake pedal, gas pedal, and an emergency cable pedal. I wonder if that purple would look good. We'll see, man. But anyway, gang, the video's gone too long, man. I just wanted to put up some different content. See what it is. We working. We touching everything on this little Elko. Wiring is going good. I'm uh, going to be putting part nine up soon. You can see we got uh, in mock-up, got the other brackets and stuff on. You can see I'm about to cut the line here. This worked out great, gang. If you can see down in there. My finger is, I can zoom in on it. Oh man, it ain't showing. Right here, I got a, a rubber grommet around there. I also put the uh, heat shrink. Uh, I put this stuff on there. Put that on there and I heat shrunk it. There's also this rubberized heat shrink up underneath. Uh, just everything, man. Got this all finished. I still need to put the uh, actual battery cable up in here so it can run down. I'll probably put it like right in here, so slice it, run it through here so it can come out, boom, and do what it needs to do. And then up here, I'll terminate that with a, uh, what do you call it? Shoot, with a uh, heat shrink right there. But yeah, gang. There it is. There we go. There it is, gang. I'm going to end the video. Oh, man. Once we're done with the wiring, I'll be starting on wiring this up. And once I'm done wiring that up, then we'll start in wiring that up. Man, I'm, I'm getting all kind of different instructions from um, different printouts. I'm like, well, this printout don't match those instructions. Don't match those instructions. Whew, man. But there it is, gang. You know how Holly is, man. You'll get into a project and then, oh, 
uh, by the way, uh, to complete this, you'll need this part. Like, why the f did you tell me this when I ordered it? But there it is, gang. We gonna let you go. It's your little homie up in the rock shop and doing what we like to do best, gang. And let's keep it Chevy. All right, gang, quick fade in. I went ahead and sprayed these. I wasn't even supposed to spray all of this, but I got the uh, areas where the bolts are gonna go down. There's tape down in there because I need that to stay bare metal so it can ground it out. Uh, and then where the little switch goes, I got tape covering that up so it could ground out correctly. The back, I will clean back up to make sure it's bare metal on the back so it grounds out. And then this, I just put some U-Paw Raptor on it. That's all I had here. You know, these are the parts that are up underneath. It is way too cold in here to be spraying stuff, but you know, it is what it is. The sandblast look good. Should bite on there nice and, you know, protect it, so. There it is, I'll let these dry on out and then I will reinstall, clean them up, reinstall them. I exercised the hell out of this so it was, you know, doing this thing, blew all the sand up out of it. And I'm sure once I move this, there's gonna be parts exposed that didn't get sprayed, but we are not worried about it, man. Uh, you feel me? I just didn't want the rusty look all up underneath there. So but there it is, gang, it's looking good. Uh, today, I will be back up and on the uh, battery we're gonna go and get some wire nuts put all that on the ends and drop a battery in and get it cracking and uh, if you don't hear from me you know what happened mama i love you all right y'all fade it up all right gang we got this piece back in we got the uh, brake piece back in, secured, and we lie there. Just want, to, like I said, just want to clean it up a little bit, man, and get all the rusty rust off of it. Uh, you're not gonna see any, you know, you're not gonna see any of it, but just it was right there. Might as well do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that. Uh, I'm gonna clean the back surface off. So that uh, once we put it back on here, you feel me, it's uh, doing what it's supposed to do. As far as the ground goes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna peel the tape off and get that back up in here and then we done with that. All right, yes yeah, sir, we faded back in. Okay, gang, <clears throat> I'm gonna end it here. Uh, got this all uh, tightened up, looking good. I just used that U-Paw. This piece is up in here. Now is not the time, man, it was like 40, 39, 40 degrees in here. That's not the time to be spraying anything, you feel me? So, but uh, I gotta clean all this up on the back. We don't want any of that, you know, cause it's got to ground out. Uh, that piece is still good to go. It's still will do its ground out. Uh, I think what I'm gonna have to do is this uh, part right here that ratchets. I'm gonna have to clean that up because it goes up and it touches that right there. And I forgot if this pushes into something or I forgot what it does. So I'm, I'm gonna clean up that portion of it so that it you know can do its ground if it, if it grounds right there. Clean the back up, get that cracking. Uh, might even get a new one of these little sensors. Uh, but uh, we are good to go in here. We got the other plate back up in there. You know, man, I didn't have to do all of this game, but I just wanted it to be uh, sprayed up and cleaned up. You feel me? Since I'm right there, you know, a lot, you know, a lot of the old schools, man, they have all that weird old school smell because nobody really does any of that. Clean out all the, you know, all the old gunk, clean all of this stuff out, and just let it air out. You know what I mean? You know that old stale scent, I, I can't stand it, but all my cars get that treatment. You feel me? They all get fully cleaned out, blown out, aired out the whole nine. So, but there it is, gang. These are going in for powder coat. I got something up my sleeve for these guys right here. And for that emergency cable, I got some jewelry, some jewelry coming. So I'm a, I'm a, uh, get these taken care of by a pro and we'll be dropping off man i'll drag this video out to 40 minutes 
we got uh we're gonna be taking these to get powder coated uh possibly this is the weirdest crunk this is like a mirror man get that done and get this all done in powder coat chrome so we'll see gang we'll see how we doing but i want these in blue and i gotta check with the with the guys because when they powder coat it i need it to be smooth i don't want no uh orange peel you know i need to see if they can provide that service if not i got a spot that can do that they're just further out but all right gang i'm gonna let y'all go it's your little homie up in the rock shop repping 80s and most definitely keeping this shit.